Hi, this is Scott with Anti-Gravity Batteries. Today I will be doing an in-depth review of Anti-Gravity Batteries Restart Lithium-Ion Battery for your car, truck, boat, or any vehicle that uses these automotive size batteries. The Restart Battery is the first battery ever with built-in wireless jump starting, so you will never be stranded again by a dead battery. This is a game changer in automotive batteries, so stay tuned for that review. Now, if you're not familiar with anti-gravity batteries, we are a company that specializes in lithium ion products. That includes motorcycle batteries, car batteries, deep cycle batteries for your RV and off-grid uses. As well, we make jump starters, power stations, and more. We are also used by world-class racing teams to win championships, as well as daily drivers and everything in between that. First, bear with me on the length of the video. It's a little long, but our objective at Anti-Gravity Batteries is not only to tell you about our products, but also educate you on lithium technology in general as regarding our products. First, it's important to understand that whether you have a car, truck, boat, or other application that uses automotive size 12 volt lead acid batteries, our restart battery is a drop-in, lightweight, high power lithium alternative to your heavy lead acid battery. There are no modifications necessary for the fitment or operation, it's just a direct swap. This is because our restart batteries come in standardized automotive group sizes that fit every American, European, Japanese, Japanese or other make of vehicle. Additionally, all our restart batteries use the highest quality grade A UL listed lithium ion battery cells and come with a highly advanced battery management protection system for the longest life and safest operation possible. So now let's take a look at the built in wireless jump starting feature, which we call the restart. So what sets the restart batteries apart from any other battery available today, or for that matter in the history of starter batteries, is the fact that our battery has the first ever built-in wireless jump starting. Each battery comes with two wireless key fobs, and in the event you over discharge the restart battery, you simply press the button on one of the key fobs, start the vehicle, and drive away. It's that simple and anyone can do it. The restart feature is so valuable because it means you or your family members will never be stranded with a dead battery emergency again. For example, if you left your lights on, stored the vehicle too long, or if you were out camping and came back to a dead battery, there is no reason to worry. You simply press the key fob, start your car, and drive away. You do not need to touch or see the battery, you do not need to know how to connect a jump starter, and you do not need to worry about asking for assistance from a stranger or going to AAA. Nor do you have to worry about the rain or inclement weather because you can activate the built-in jump starting from the safety of your vehicle. Another important factor is that in many modern cars, you cannot open the hood or trunk if your battery goes dead because the entire car shuts down. This usually requires assistance or a recharge of the battery to get on the road again, but with the anti-gravity restart battery, that factor is eliminated because once you press the key fob, the car has full power again. So now you can open the hood, the doors, or the trunk of your car. So being able to get out of those dead battery emergencies is the primary benefit of the restart battery. So now let's take a look at some of the other features and advantages of the Restart Lithium Ion Battery. So first I'll present some of the features and advantages of the Restart Lithium Battery and then I will discuss some of the reasons why you may not want to go with a lithium battery for your vehicle. The most important feature within Anti-Gravity's lithium ion battery is its comprehensive battery management system called a BMS. This BMS is a circuit board within the battery itself that acts as a control system for the battery's operation. This BMS provides lithium cell balancing 
as well as a set of protection parameters that do not allow the battery to function outside its safest operating ranges. So in effect, the BMS protects the lithium battery from being damaged by internal or external issues which would normally damage a lead acid battery. For example, the number one issue that damages a lead acid battery is over discharge. This occurs when the lights or other accessories are left on and the battery is drained dead. Another example might be if a car was not driven for a long period of time and the battery was allowed to drain dead. And one of these deep discharges will damage a lead acid battery and dramatically shorten its lifespan and the battery cannot protect itself from those issues. On the other hand, the BMS protection system in our anti-gravity restart battery will prevent over-discharge and damage because it intelligently monitors itself. And if it senses an over-discharge, it will put itself into a sleep mode and prevent further over-discharge or damage to itself. Also, our BMS protects from many other things that would normally damage a lead acid battery, such as overcharging, overvoltage, short circuits, and more. So, the BMS creates an incredibly safe and long-lasting battery since it prevents the battery from being damaged in the first place. Roughly 8 to 10 years of lifespan is what is expected from our restart lithium-ion batteries. As a word of caution, it should be noted that there are several lithium batteries on the market that do not have a full BMS as our restart battery does. So if you're looking into lithium starter batteries for your car, it's critical you do research and never use a battery without a full BMS unless you are racing and understand the potential dangers of using a non-protected lithium battery in your vehicle. Batteries without a full BMS can work fine in some high performance applications, but they require specific monitoring and maintenance to prevent safety issues from occurring. For automobiles and vehicles used on the streets, we always recommend a full BMS only. One of the most talked about benefits of a lithium battery is its light weight, and the restart battery offers that as well. In general, the restart battery is about 70% lighter than the lead acid battery it replaces. For example, replacing a standard H6 size lead acid battery like this size right in front of me with our restart version results in a massive 35 pounds of weight loss. And this weight reduction leads to better overall performance in handling, braking, acceleration, and even mileage due to the lower weight and lower center of gravity. Whereas special materials like carbon fiber, titanium, cost thousands of dollars to lose a few pounds of weight, our lithium battery drops up to 35 pounds of weight instantly at a fraction of the cost. So if you're talking about improving performance and lap times, lithium is by far the best value in weight loss options for your vehicle. Another benefit of our restart lithium ion battery is the higher cranking power compared to lead acid batteries. For example, our 40 amp hour anti-gravity restart battery can provide better cranking than an 80 amp hour lead acid battery, which is double its capacity and over triple its weight. This is due to our lithium ion batteries having less internal resistance and being much more efficient at high current discharges than lead acid batteries. Additionally, our lithium batteries also rest at a slightly higher voltage of 13.2 volts compared to 12.6 volts of a lead acid battery. And this makes for a fatter spark at ignition and a faster motor spin, which leads to better starting overall for your vehicle. The last benefit to mention of our lithium ion battery is the lifespan. Lithium is rated for about three times the lifespan of lead acid batteries. And as an example, a top quality lithium battery cell is rated for more than 3000 cycles, whereas a top quality lead acid battery is rated at about 1000 cycles. Generally, a cycle is a full discharge and recharge of a battery, but the bottom line here is that a lithium battery can offer two to three times the life of a lead acid battery. And this is due to those extra cycles that the lithium offers, but additionally because our battery management protection system will not allow accidental damage to the battery to occur. And finally, because lithium is much more tolerant of high vibration and moderate heat than lead acid. So all these factors make for a significantly longer lifespan for lithium ion batteries compared to lead acid batteries. So next, I'll take a look at why a lithium battery may not be the best choice for you.
The most often raised negative of a lithium battery is its cost. They are indeed more expensive than lead acid batteries and this is due to the higher material cost, the fact that this is a newer technology that is still in a niche market oriented more towards performance vehicles and lithium is not sold in the quantities of lead acid batteries. But the fact is, while our restart lithium battery costs more initially, the overall cost of ownership is quite a bit lower because these batteries offer a much longer lifespan. They also have full protections to prevent it from being accidentally damaged and they have wireless built-in jump starting that can save you from being stranded or having to call for assistance. And last, they offer the extreme lightweight benefit. So yes, it's an expensive proposition early on, but it pays for itself in the long run. Another issue of owning a lithium battery is that they do require a different standalone charger than a lead acid battery would. A lithium charger can be an added expense of roughly $50 to $100 depending on the brand you choose and its features. I answer questions on charging lithium batteries later in this video, so stay tuned for that. Another factor that may not make lithium a good option for you is if you intend to use the battery in long term below freezing weather. To clarify, our lithium battery can easily handle moderate exposure to below freezing weather. For example, if you keep the car in a garage that goes down into the 20 degree temperature range, then it would be perfectly fine. Or if you go skiing or snowboarding for several days in the mountains, or even if you drive to work in the below freezing weather, that's perfectly acceptable. But if you have a car that is parked outside in the elements in below 20 degree range weathers for long periods of time, that is where the battery will not work as well as a lead acid battery. And this is because lithium is less dense than lead acid and can actually freeze faster in longer term exposure to less than 20 degree Fahrenheit weather. Lastly, if you're thinking of a lithium battery for frequently driving in below freezing weather, you should opt for our 60 or 80 amp hour models because they have a larger battery inside that has more capacity and more power for those more demanding cold weather applications. The last concern that some of you might have is the safety of a lithium ion battery in your car. And this is important to discuss because there is a lot of media attention on lithium ion batteries. We have all seen phones, laptops, or hoverboards catching fire. But I do wanna make a few things clear. First, there are several different lithium battery chemistries that are used in consumer products. The lithium batteries found in cell phones, laptops, and hoverboards were a lithium polymer or lithium cobalt type of cell. This is a vastly different and a more volatile form of lithium compared to the lithium iron phosphate cell, also known as LIFEPO4, and that we use in our restart batteries. In fact, BMW, Porsche, McLaren, and Mercedes have been using LifePo 4 starter batteries in their most expensive cars for the past seven years. The truth is, lithium iron phosphate is considered one of the safest forms of lithium ion used in consumer products. Additionally, our battery management system has the protections that prevent the battery from being exposed to the hazards that would create these potentially dangerous circumstances. So the battery is exceptionally safe for use in your car, but please feel free to contact us if you would like more information on this. So let's go over amp hours. First off, if you are not familiar with the term amp hours, simply put amp hours designates how much energy is stored inside a battery. So the larger the amp hour number is, the bigger the battery pack is inside the battery itself. So more amp hours means you will have more reserve capacity and more cranking power. For example, this H6 battery in front of me, which is also known as a Group 48 battery, has four different amp hour options available. That is a 24 amp hour, 30 amp hour, 40 amp hour, or 60 amp hour option. The advantage of doing this is we can tailor the battery to fit the application of the user since all users will not require the same amp hours. For example, a dedicated track or race vehicle does not need a high amp hour battery since these vehicles do not often have the accessories of a street vehicle. 
So a track person just wants the lightest weight possible and doesn't care about having much extra reserve capacity. On the other hand, a person with a modern passenger or sports car will want a battery that is more of a direct replacement for their current lead acid battery, and they will go with a 40 amp hour version of the battery, which still saves them 35 pounds of weight, but performs as well and better than the stock lead acid battery. And last, someone who stores the car for longer periods and wants more reserve energy, or perhaps they own an SUV and drive in freezing weather often, in this scenario, they would want the most amp hours possible and choose our 60 amp hour or 80 amp hour options. So these different amp hour options allow the broad range of users to choose what fits their application and their pocket, but the best. So I want to take some time to go over charging lithium batteries because we often get questions on this. First, please understand that our anti-gravity batteries will charge and work perfectly fine in all standard 12 volt charging systems found in cars, trucks, motorcycles, boats, tractors, and even generators that use 12 volt lead acid starter batteries. This is because all these systems are standardized to use and correctly charge 12 volt lead acid batteries and our restart anti-gravity batteries are a direct replacement for a 12 volt lead acid starter battery. But when it comes to standalone chargers like a lead acid or lithium charger that you would directly connect to the battery, that is where the differences lie. It is important to use the correct charger for your battery's chemistry. This is because these standalone chargers do not charge like a vehicle's charging system would. For example, a lead acid charger has a desulfate mode. This desulfate mode is intended to remove sulfate that can develop inside a lead acid battery. So the lead acid charger is designed to spike voltage to remove this sulfate. But a lithium battery will never sulfate because it's a completely different chemistry than lead acid. So this desulfate mode can actually damage and overheat your lithium battery. So it's important to avoid using a lead acid charger on a lithium battery and just use the correct charger for your battery's chemistry. This will keep the battery in the best condition and remove any chance of safety hazards or damage. So in conclusion, anti-gravity batteries has developed the restart battery as the next generation vehicle battery. We feel in this day and age, a modern battery should not leave you stranded or working on your car or asking for help. And the restart line of battery saves you from those dead battery emergencies, as well as offering you upgraded performance to your vehicle. So if you're looking for that extra level of protection and a battery that will be there when you need it most, the Restart Battery from Anti-Gravity Batteries is just that product. Also, be sure to check all the related links and the videos in the description section below. There's a lot of other information available, and if you got any value or education out of this video, please subscribe and click the like button. Also, if you have any other questions on lithium, please post them in the comments section. We are coming out with a lot more videos on our products, as well as some lithium educational videos to bring you up to speed on all things lithium ion. Thank you for watching.